Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Get him. Come on. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Has gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but Griffins liked to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. 
You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. What's it to you? Well, you see, there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Let's go! So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard, and we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Slower. Got a lump of bread today. The grand told me about Smithfield. Lad went missing one day, so I poked Dad and Witch to the hunter in the bar. Started poking him, asking him, but he started twisting. The coat of arms, the Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Drink with Weaver Lost Freaks.
Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Show me what you got behind the counter. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. You hear? Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. I'm burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel! Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel! Why are they marking out them lines, eh? I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. I, uh... Oh, I've drunk enough. My head's spinning. Take the hooch. It's just wizardry.
once more, there are four factions. Four what? Teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? No, but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken.
recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. <laughs> what? Lost your nerve? <laughs> Hunting 
We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care. Let it rain. Wash the blood from the fields. What do you want? What now? What next? A flood? Best be gone from here.
Hot! Up and smoke! What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. <laughs>